Manuel Flores, Gucci Manny. I like this kid. Um, he's definitely an up and comer in the 118 pound division. He's a Bantamweight prospect. He's that type of guy that wants to draw you into an exchange um, and he catches you. He, he catches his opponents between punches. So he'll score the, the, that eye catching knockdown or, or, or knockout, um, which he wasn't able to do in his last fight. That was a tough fight. He was in against a really experienced opponent guy who uh, brought like a 25 and one record into the ring um, and guess what I think it was good for him I think it was good for him not to get the knockout I think it was good for him to go um, quality eight rounds get him like another two or three fights if he looks good if he's if he's winning um, and he's improving fight by fight that's a guy maybe you could turn him loose against a world title holder um, one thing about these lighter weight classes um, the fighters advance really quickly so if you look at Ring Magazine's Bantamweight rankings, you're gonna see in the lower, like from eight to 10, you're gonna see three guys from Japan. And they don't have a lot of fights, you know? He's, he's got the warrior spirit, but um, he's also, he's fun to watch, man. He's got that, he's got that swagger. He's got that attitude. He's, um, he's flashing in there. Um, number eight contender uh, at Bantamweight, uh, by the ring is uh, the monster's little brother, a guy named uh, Takuma Inoue. He just won the Bantamweight title. That's that's a guy for Gucci Manny to set his sights on. The Diaz brothers, that's a good corner to have. Um, but one fight at a time. Um, let, let's see how he uh, he looks on this undercard. Um, I know he's gonna sell some tickets. Um, uh, I know he's gonna produce some thrills. Uh, I know he's gonna put on a good show.